Hey, what up everyone? Michael B. Petty here. I'm coming at you with another react, another late night react. I know how much you guys love those. Um, before I get started, I just wanted to say, um, I have been getting a couple of DMs and stuff on um, Twitter and stuff about the merch being shipped to you. The way I believe Teespring works is that it collects a bunch of orders before it goes to a print. And then after it reaches a threshold or an a number, an elapsed time has gone by, then it will print. So once that happens, then they will go and ship to you. I don't handle any of the shipping and anything personally. It's all done through that site so if you have any questions i would suggest contacting teespring but as far as i'm concerned anyone that has ordered anything since before this past saturday it has gone into print so you should be receiving your shirt within the next week or so so hopefully you guys get those to you i've already gotten a couple people who have sent me messages of them um wearing their i can't shirts because those are a, lo a lot of those have already been shipped so i love that love that so much thank you guys so much for that um we got another react for you the title of this react is why i won't weigh in plus cooking fresh salmon first time this should be interesting i'm interested to see that she's cooking fresh salmon i mean i in my last react to this i literally said that verbatim you have nothing but time to be able to be making these meals so why not just get fresh fish and season it yourself and cook it in a skillet yourself i mean it's not that hard you can even put it in the oven it's not that difficult so i'm excited to see what the reasoning is behind why she won't weigh in we all know it's because she doesn't want to admit her weight but you know you never know so without further ado let's get into the react hey guys so I hey just amber vlog. hey girl hey um, i have to go to the store how long is this 28 minutes holy shit like a little friends moment so i'm gonna go pick up friends like, moment like foods for yes that, like veggie tray and stuff like that i don't you know i don't <laughs> there's a there is something about said about stuff like that like you don't really need to like feed your friends every time they come over. Like, I honestly think that it's now an excuse for her to go out and like buy these pre-made uh, party platters. Cause I think she likes them. I think she really enjoys them, but you know, girl, like tell them, you know what? Potluck it. Say, you know what? Y'all need to bring something this time. I fed you once. I'm not feeding you again. So that's what I'm about to go do. Oh my God. My nose ring was tickling my nose, but Oof. Yeah, I hope you guys are having a good I still think she should get this removed. Day to day, I kind of woke up in just like a weird, funky mood. And I hate when that happens because it ruins like literally my whole day. And I'm Your day starting at like 4 p.m. So that's probably why you woke up in a funky mood because you slept all damn day. I'm trying to snap out of it, but it's like really hard. You guys, I forgot I was vlogging today. So no seatbelt. Never a seatbelt. Um, Not a seatbelt in sight. I mean, I guess I can. No, I probably won't show you. <laughs> because okay few months why why won't you show us because you don't want us to show us you don't, you don't want to show us the bad food right months ago when i put away groceries i really couldn't i could maybe put away one bag and then i would sit down and just be like exhausted and like defeated um but now that's really sad like i don't know if you guys know this but like i cook without sitting now i do the dishes without sitting i put away all the groceries without sitting of course like becky helps me with the groceries but i do everything Okay, so, but you've shown us you not being able to do this, so I don't understand why now you wouldn't show us you being able to do it. I don't know if that that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Um, I don't know if I particularly believe you. I just think that this is kind of your way of trying to save some face, but hey, to each their own. But um, I just find it difficult to think that like you would progress like this and then not want to show it because you want to show everything else, but whatever everything without sitting now and it just feels really weird. wasn't in the last vlog she's like sitting in i can't i'm pretty sure in like a couple vlogs ago we saw her sitting in the kitchen but whatever weird i'm gonna be honest because for the longest time i had to constantly sit because i couldn't breathe or something was hurting all we've done is seeing you sit these past month like all we've seen you doing is sitting we've n we rarely see you walking I mean, my back still hurts and my legs get a little crampy because they're just, you know, they're not used to that. But it's just crazy. So when I get home, like, I want to try putting away the groceries, like, with the quickness so I can, like... With the quickness. You know, okay, who who taught her with the quickness? I want to know. ...to do it and be accomplished and feel good about it. So I probably won't show you, <laughs> but I got, like, broccoli... Why wouldn't you show? Like, I don't understand. You Like, you're going to... 
ex you're gonna make these exclamations. You show us the most benign shit all the time, the most dull, dumb shit all the time. This is something that actually put us in our place and put your haters in, in check and you don't wanna show it. That See, that, that doesn't add up to me. That makes no sense to me, sorry. So I don't believe you. Cauliflower, I got brown rice, I got fresh salmon. Oh, so fresh salmon. To, like, season fresh them salmon. Myself. Um, what else did I get? My goodness. I got a few like frozen dinners. Those are for like times where like I literally am like mm, not cooking because usually when I don't want to cook, I'll get like fast food, but I'm not doing that whole bit. So I'd rather just have like a small TV dinner. Like who cares? Um, I got like healthier versions. I don't, I mean, you could make meals real talk you have no excuse. You don't have a job. You don't have children to look after. You don't go to school. You don't do anything like you're just lazy <laughs> like i mean i get it but it's like make some meals like make, wake up in the morning and make your meals for the day like you could do that daily if you're worried about having a ton of food in your kitchen because you're going to eat it all at once like then maybe just pre prep your meals daily instead of doing it for the whole week maybe that would make more sense for you but i mean you know what I don't know. It's it's interesting to me. Like the sodium queen is gonna like eat a bunch of frozen food. Like frozen food has so much like the major so much sodium. Like their sodium levels are super high. Of like TV dinners though. Um, I also got more deli lunch meat, turkey. Of Tons roasted. of sodium. Um, more wraps because love that. And then for tomorrow, for like my little situation of like friends coming over. I got veggie tray, fruit tray. I'm gonna make another cracker tray, which was super fun. Super fun, making cracker trays was super fun. Okay. Becky's gonna make like pizza rolls. She's so cute, I don't know. Um yeah, you're gonna throw Becky under the bus with the pizza roll thing. Like, uh, and she did this the other day too when people were talking about um, what was in Becky's cart compared to what was in Amber's cart and Amber was like oh well I'm eating healthy and Becky likes only a certain amount of th Becky's lost weight so Becky can eat whatever the fuck Becky wants because it looks like Becky has really gotten it together but it's just her way of in my opinion of putting her partner down which is something that's not new to Amber this is something she's been doing for years um what else oh my goodness I don't know oh yeah ruffles and like french dip just for a little like chip situation one of my friends is she's acting like she's doing this all her like she's go <laughs> you went and pre you bought a bunch of pre-packaged foods and you laid them out on the table dog like who fucking cares you're not doing it i don't know dude actually making a make dip, something so for, the make something for yourself the dip, for once which please I'm super excited because it's like a buffalo dip or something mm, i'm like pumped but yeah um all this food talk now. dude it's getting dark <laughs> So we got home a little bit ago <clears throat> and I got some packages in the mail, more Christmas presents, and I still haven't put away those clothes. Wow. Oh, see, like, it, let's not pretend that you like were up and about after your ER um, mishaps and you were like out here. You just can't. You just have to be doing things. You're just go, 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 Amberlynn. Like, that's not we all know that that wasn't the case. I did put away like half of them. And then we did more laundry, so now there's more on there. Sure, this, it looks like, exactly the same. Stands up almost as tall as me. <laughs> That's for her phone. So what? Why? Why did you get that camera if you're just going to use your phone? You unhook these things and like. Because she's whatever, so lazy, she probably doesn't even but use her MacBook it's not the anymore. The tripod I meant to get, so I'm kind of upset about it. I wanted like a tripod to hold with my hand. Not yeah, because you can barely hold your arms up. That makes a lot of sense. Not that. So I might give it to Eric. I don't know. Because I already done did, opened it all. And I know people make fun of me. When she I gets a kick it, out so of like speaking like an um, idiot. I honestly think I she does. Was literally, She's guys, trolling. I have a MacBook Pro. And so far, I've had three chargers break in the last, oh my God, how long have I had it? Maybe a year, year and a half. And I had to buy my fourth one. So I bought another charger. That's no fun. What's the point of having a MacBook Pro and having it charged when you don't even use it to like edit any of your videos? Just get you a Chromebook, dog. Like all you'd be doing is like watching YouTube and like probably like Google searching yourself all the time. Like you don't need a MacBook Pro for that. Um, this <laughs> is so funny. Um, I like to color high. We so know. I got this Christmas color by number. Please don't. Do you need to be told what colors to put the colors now? 
Okay. No imagination. Judge me. And then I got this really cute bag. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me sit you guys down for this. So so much I for was no on sitting. The Amazon doing my thing, and I was actually looking for Christmas gifts um, for a friend of mine. She wanted a purse, so I got her one. But I happened to come across this. So Yikes. cute. There's two zippers right here. It looks so fake. I love that. It's, it's not even a good so knockoff. Open both of these. Like, that's weird. Just makes it so cute. It's actually a purse and a backpack. She's obsessed with and backpacks. There's this cute zipper right here. I don't here. like the color of the fake the leather. Zipper's cute. They just are. There's two little pouches right here. And it's... on the inside is fun. You guys know. It's, it's fun. Like fun is the new adjective. Okay. Pouches. But it came with this, which I'm actually probably going to Yeah, you need more bags, dude. But <laughs> I can't, dude. But it comes with this. Oh, my God. I don't know if you guys can see it. Right here in this middle part, there is a like zipper. A pouch with a zipper. Wow. A purse with a pouch with a Are zipper. Innovative. It's too soon. Who would have thought so yeah, that I a purse would have a pouch adorable. with a zipper in it? What's with the green bar, dude? You need to quit it. editing on your iPhone. I'm so over expensive. the green bars. Um... I think literally like 30 something dollars, which is like nothing. So, super yeah. cute. Guys, I'm glad, whoever, I'm the, whoever, the, 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 whoever the made that in China, ever. they're fucking ecstatic that Amber Lynn's on here shilling their so knockoff Louis Vuitton shit. <laughs> you know, it's illegal in certain states to like buy stuff like that, right? Like, so it's, I don't know, dude. <sighs> Need. I guess we don't have all that money. Just one of these. Just set it right here. What is that? Set turkeys. Put that down. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna need. Girl, edit. Edit this stuff, dude. Foil. And I actually said a little You could actually right. make this so wow. much more interesting if you edited it a little bit. Oh, God. That cringed me. She doesn't know how to tear so, the aluminum foil correctly. Put it on there. I'm sure everyone knows how to make salmon. It's like... You don't. Difficult. So, I'm going to use... Mrs. Dash. Ham. Okay. Spray. For my seasonings. Why don't you get you some olive oil and put it like, you know, mince some garlic or, you know, like, do it right, girl. Garlic salt. We're going to do some pepper and probably some onion powder. Okay, now so much for the sodium sensitivity. The beautiful salmon. Look at that. It's a honker. I will it's not a honker. That. Look. It's salmon, girl. It's, so it's like literally Kroger. nothing. It was 487. I, I just, you know, I mean, kudos to you. I'm glad that you've got yourself a fresh piece of salmon. I, I see that you've taken some of my advice and you're going it, to, it'll taste way better. I promise you, if you do this correctly, it will taste way better. Salmon Atlantic. I just, she's just Ooh, so shocked by it because she's so never seen like fresh I salmon before. Spray this. God we damn. I do not want it to That stick. was a lot. You need to get yourself some EVOO. I also don't want to touch the salmon. It would taste way better. Mm -hmm. Why? Just wash so your hands. I'm use a fork. Girl, just wash your hands. You'll be fine. You can handle uncooked meat and then wash your hand. You're fuck. You're, oh, get it oh, I hate. What are you so doing? Oh my god. Use. The green bar For again. Sure. Or at least to me it is. And, um. God, you are so skin on the helpless. Bottom, so I'm kind yes, of like, it's usually how it comes. It. <laughs> okay, we're gonna add garlic salt. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! <gasps> so much for that sodium sensitivity, girl. Onion powder. Oh my God, girl. 
I have, she's ruined this for me. I already am like, really? And pepper. I love pepper. I would have hated her less if she had like put mayonnaise on it. Real talk. Bam. Wow. Emerald Lagasse, uh, you wish. Eat your heart out. I like super seasoned stuff. Super oh, seasoned. Like you super seasoned that one. <laughs> Ooh, I wouldn't eat that. Let's. Girl, you should have gotten yourself some fresh veggies, some fresh herbs, some thyme. Like, you could have really done this real good, real right. And I think it would have made you fall in love with a little bit. Because I'm not the biggest cooker either. But, I mean, you could have really done this right and really helped yourself. But you just couldn't help yourself, I guess. Do is, because I saw someone else do it. Kind of like gently Jesus. pat it in if you will <laughs> i'd pay so much money so. to watch gordon ramsay critique this video and then no tiny did she spray pam on the food ew why i don't understand what that's so gross like that i wanted to get golden golden <laughs> i like my meat really dry hi that's me so Ew. I to get super, super like dry and the ends to get like she sprayed pam on the so, fish i'm gonna wait for the oven to be on to it it's almost done a little outfit of the day while we're Yikes. waiting for the oven dog dress from torrid this is really cute Blue but she's lost sweater, so much weight, right? Cardigan, also from Torrid. I'm just wearing black hoops from Torrid. Not sponsored. No so shit. I have leftovers from last night. If I can open it. Really just Jesus. Brown rice I can't. She is like the best bubble. editor ever. I'm warm it up. You guys. Look completed so see i think this is why she struggles so much with sticking to these plans is because when she tries to <sighs> i mean it's really not hard to look up a decent menu for salmon like it's really not that hard um and i think this is why she doesn't enjoy eating this food is because she doesn't take any kind of time or do any kind of preparation and then it comes out T probably tasting like shit. I know that she sits on here and she tries to pretend that it's gonna be that it's good and she's enjoying it, but we all know that's not the tea. Like you could have made yourself a really nice honey glaze for that salmon, and it would have been fire, and it would have been pretty healthy. But like you just, you you're lazy. You just couldn't even be bothered. I really don't like the coloring of it. It's juicy. I thought you liked Is your meat dry. I'm gonna check the middle. This is like a first time thing, so I wanted to. Yeah, you have no idea what you're doing. Do it on here. The middle is the most important. Oh, yeah, it's cooked. Eric said he eats the skin. Most people do. I was so excited. I took a bite without vlogging. Wow. I'm so confused. She hates it. She hates it. Deep down, she hates it. She loves rice. Oh my god. She's... What is happening right now? It's fucking fish, dog. I've always had, like I said, processed frozen salmon. Yeah. Or from a... Um, a restaurant. restaurant, yeah. So this is like... It's like buttery or something. I'm so confused. I didn't even add butter. You guys... You sprayed it Make with the Pam. Same just how I made it. No, don't. Do yourself a favor and look up a real recipe. Y'all, I'm sorry if this grosses you out, but I ate the whole thing. I was yeah. really hungry. The skin is a no go. I, nope. I did not like that if part. If you cook it right, usually the skin's and okay. And the part in between the skin and the actual um, filet has this brown part, which is actually where the omega 3 is at. So I ate some of it on one side, but I didn't eat the other side because, you know, I don't need that much fat. Let's be real. This was incredible. Girl, I... <laughs>
<laughs> okay, girl, we watched you eat a whole rotisserie chicken, but sure, go off, sis. Incredible. I'll be doing this again, but I definitely don't think I needed the whole piece. That's just my opinion. So next time, I think before I eat- You're fine. You're 600 pounds. You can eat that whole piece of salmon. You're okay. Even plate it. I'm just going to cut it in half to save the other half for another time. Oh, she's showing the cats. See, people have been questioning where the cats are. And this is this is how you know Amber is very on the Reddit, on Kiwi Farms, on all on Twitter, all of that stuff, because people have been speculating as to the whereabouts of Rarity and Wasabi. So I think she added that little clip in just to like make to quell some haters, so to speak. Just got done watching The Grudge 2. We watched the first one last night. Second one tonight third one maybe tomorrow but we're kind of like busy tomorrow so i'm not sure if we're going to but yeah it was pretty scary babe what do you think i don't think the grudge movies are very scary oh, at all <laughs> it's weird not at I'm all becoming more scared of movies while i'm becoming less see the mattress is still in the I, like, in the living room because i used to be like terrified of scary movies and now i'm like eh. hey guys so it's the next day congrats um, we made it to another day finger foods ready and i want to show you guys my cracker situation plate tray so it's actually two trays <laughs> here are the crackers with this really she really act out here acting like she is martha stewart huh she really thinks she out here entertaining she's the the hostess with the mostest like you bought all of that stuff and then put it on plates, dog. Like, we get it. We've seen a cracker cheese plate. And it's not even a good one at that, too. Like, it's the, it's, I, what, you. Delicious, like. Let's just keep it going. This is already fucking cheese. long. And then we have the salami and cheese. I might have bought too much salami, but I'm probably going to send it off with Yeah, my right. Friends, You're not going to part with food. All, but Her friends. Becky's making pesto mozzarella paninis. So here's the dip, which has to actually go in the oven. But my favorite part, veggie tray. Becky's favorite, fruit tray. Hey guys, so it's actually hey guys. the next day. I didn't vlog anything. And you're wearing the same exact clothes. Yesterday, mainly because I wanted the little friends thing to be like private. And then I was gonna vlog afterwards, but I was like loving on wasabi and my eye, because I'm allergic to cats, hi. My eye, which so much better today, thank God, but this eye got super, super itchy. And I physically could not stop itching it, which I probably should have. And get you some, some cortisone ointment and rub it on your skin and call it a fucking day. Get you some Benadryl cream. And so my eye ended up getting very swollen to the point of like, it looked like this, like literally. Like and literally? It <laughs> yeah, dude. And since I itched it so bad, I actually scratched the actual eyeball. So I was in so much pain. Eric kept trying to hold me down and put eye drops in my eye. It was actually really funny. Yeah, and I, just I would love to see that. That's like fucking tackling a white rhino in public i don't fuck, dude Didn't i would love to watch that that would have been that, good content so much better today little I'm eric like, holding down amber lynn and putting eye drops in her eyes to pop in and say hello it is the next day so i just made me some lunch angel hair pasta also known as heated it up in the microwave because there's no way amber lynn made this so, which is my favorite we have some ground chicken I cut up some onion and some oh she did make this just for some oomph i put broccoli and cauliflower and the like spaghetti sauce is this garlic type from the brand classico so i'm super super pumped i'm so hungry because i fasted for 20 hours i feel great why did you fast so for I'm 20 weird, hours and i think becky's looking at me crazy oh I think <laughs> how did she fast for 20 hours when she had her friends over the night before and they were like she had all those plates out and stuff and they were like there at night I'm confused okay whatever sis that bites of pasta is super satisfying so I'm gonna no I don't want to watch you slurp this like into your mouth like a fucking heathen babe is this weird yes yeah 
One. Yeah, thank you, Becky. Uh, thank you. I lost my marbles, right? It's locked. You just food. don't have anything else okay. to play. To... You don't have any other content. <laughs> I'm dying. Are you watching me like a live mukbang right now? Yeah, I'm watching. Okay, ready? <laughs> Ew. She's such so, a weirdo, dude. Was that satisfying for you? She's a literal child. Like I, it, the thing that is like really like kind of astounding to me is like we've been watching her for four years and her maturity level is probably at an all time low. Like I honestly think that she's not maturing. She's been so stagnant these past six years, seven years, since she's been on this platform. Like it, she's like Chantel. Like she's ve they're very similar in that like there's no kind of growth. There's nothing new happening. The same things that make them laugh. Are, then are the same things that like made them laugh now like it's so dumb <laughs> becky is just over I it guess. what types of things do you like to you do you think are satisfying you're you sh being quiet I don't really, know. really i know i'm not really a um watching people oh we get to sit here yeah, yeah. thank you becky thank you he does not watch mukbangs Right, because she's not a fucking food addict, so she's, or I mean, she she may have some issues with food, but, like, it. I think it is very weird for someone that, like, supposedly is a food addict or, like, whatever, whatever disease, binge eating, whatever, whatever mental illness she's claiming to have, I think it's very weird for you to sit there and out for hours on end and watch people eat it's just weird and i think becky is the right she's going about it the right way she obviously has issues with food so why tempt her why watch people eat food that makes no sense tell them what you're watching now i'm what watching been... a public freak out compilation she's been watching the weirdest videos on youtube all day long and i'm living for it like <laughs> i'm actually subscribed to the public freak out subreddit so i feel you becky i love a good public freak out that's why her phone is propped up right there. <laughs> right now, someone's car's trying to get towed away, but the people are like not letting them take it, saying, "Oh, you know, we'll pay you twenty bucks." And the guy okay, goes, we don't care. <laughs> oh my god! Sometimes she'll go on Facebook and she'll watch one video, and then like seven hours later, I'll be like, "Babe, you haven't moved," because she keeps seven watching. hours. <laughs> yes, yes. Jesus. It's so funny. But I wish I had seven hours in a day to sit around and do nothing but watch videos on Facebook. What are you gonna have for dinner? I don't know yet. Always about food. Lunch. Everything is See, so food centric with Amberlynn. Like a little bit later than the average Joe. So yeah, because you don't wake up until two p.m. We know. We know. You eat lunch at like seven p.m. and then eat dinner at midnight. I always say dinner when I meant to say lunch. I'll probably only eat one other time. Well, Good for you, Becky. I try to eat three meals a day. <laughs> you try. <laughs> we know you eat three meals a day, girl. We see you. To keep me satiated, no snacks. Ooh, she learned a new word, satiated. Good job. Tea. Use it correctly in a sentence, tea. too. Kudos. Well, I had, I guess you'd call it lunch earlier. I didn't have breakfast today. Because you didn't wake up until and one. And then later on, I don't know. I sat chicken out, but it's not going to be thawed until tomorrow. So you can so. always thaw chicken in the microwave, but that gets But it's disgusting. Ew, no. Right? Because there's like a thaw button. I'm like, no, honey. These people are literal people coma. Like, it's, I swear to God, it's like when they go through a time machine and they're like, oh, did you know you can thaw meat in the microwave? It's thaw it like under hot water. Yeah, and like, you can do no. that too. Why? I do that when I work in diet, dietary. That seems gross, right? Yeah. You're gonna cook and it. Like, what I like to do is take it out the night prior, put it in the fridge, call it a day. You wake yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, Amberlynn. I'm sure you're taking chicken out all the time. Like, come on, girl. It's thawed. Yeah, me and her eat separate meals because she doesn't like cauliflower. She doesn't like things like this. Like, you, you hate onion, which is so crazy because yeah. I feel like it adds so much flavor to things. If there was no cauliflower or onion in there, I'd probably eat it. It tastes really good. But I don't want to sit there and pick pick it out by yeah. the time that picking it out it's cold that's true what kind of vegetables do you like like if you could put a vegetable in a spaghetti like what would it be besides a mushroom because that's a fun guy oh, <laughs> she loves mushrooms um jesus christ <laughs> i can't believe i'm sitting here watching this it's so boring i put purple okay so 
do you why am i asking so many questions like what am i doing like interrogation because yeah. you're bored and you have nothing else to <laughs> as do as people want to see the rebecca right i probably look like crap Beautiful. Amber is yeah, uh, not. No, I'm squishing your. She's face, not though. known for Wait, casting her partners in flattering lights with flattering angles. Just look at the, the the images of uh, Destiny Wait, on to, naked nose. on the toilet, sitting on the toilet. <laughs> let me tickle your. People are gonna be like, go. To I can't, dude. We're skipping this. Did I sound like Kate Winslet? We're skipping this. No. I can't. I'm not an accent gal. No, you're not. Okay. I don't know. Actually, you you tend to pick up accents wherever you live. That's hey, ooh, that that's a tea. That's tea. No, okay. Say a that's a bit of shade. In how Kate Winslet talks. I can't. And then and how to repeat it. I can't do that. Just I can't do that. Kate Winslet has a I British can't accent. <gasps> can't. I can't go to the loo because it's dirty. Oh dirty. my god. <laughs> let's just kill me. Let's just, <laughs> just kill me now, dude. Bye. Bye. Can okay, we thank God? So Here we go. Some interesting things day. finally. So the last video I uploaded was Eat With Me, Egg Allergy Torrid Hall. And I do want to say egg allergy, I should have said egg intolerance. So I do apologize. And to those of you who have messaged me who also have have an egg intolerance, a lot of you said I don't that feel it got bad for you and your egg intolerance so allergy, whatever you're gonna to fucking call it. You've so known this since you were a little child and you still continue to eat it. That's your fault. Alright. I have an off brand one Chrysan Canadian and it's actually really good. No idea or these are so boring. You can I cut this, this out. I hate this so bad. You can cut this all out. About, cut just, it out. I literally don't clip, remember. Clip, clip, done. We um, don't care. Off brand. Uh, I don't know. But whatever it is, you said it's actually really good. Is someone so trying to get a new car something. over there or something? Next. Ironic how I got a Gordon Ramsay ad. I know, right? <laughs> I literally just talked about him. I That's funny. Me in the title, and there was like food in there. That's just what I'm going to assume. Love me some Gordon Ramsay, though. <laughs> um, that's a reply to someone. Why don't you just do a weigh-in to prove that you were losing weight? I'm actually really glad I got this question. I Let's have been hear told this. so many times I that hear everything this. I've done in the past regarding weight loss doesn't work. So try something different. So every time I go on a weight loss journey or I try to go <laughs> on a weight loss diet or like a lifestyle change... I am always vlogging it. Sometimes I feel like I overshare, especially in the yeah. beginning of when I first started to do YouTube. So something I wanted to try doing different was just not weighing myself on camera until I got to a point where I was like, wow, I'm proud. Because sometimes I'd weigh in and be like, whoa, I'm down three pounds. Yay. Like, that's stupid. For someone my size, that's not. Your lips yay. to God's ears. That's yeah. I agree with that. I'm proud of, TBH. So, I know a lot of people don't like when I say that. I'm sorry. It's just another little habit I've formed. So, just ignore that. There will be a future weigh in. And I already know exactly when I want to do it. I've made myself a little goal. You guys, I can promise you, I am losing weight. That makes no I'm sense to me doing then. Really good. And I'm so freaking proud of myself. Like, I know I say that so much. All the, the time. Past, I'd be down like seven All the pounds, time. I'm so proud. I mean, seven pounds is a start. She's learning, guys. You, She's learning. I just promise, okay? That's all That's all I'm going to say. All right. So my, my take on that is I think that she was at a very high weight. And I think now she is I don't I honestly don't think that what she's saying about how like things she's done in the past doesn't work. So she's trying not to repeat the same mistakes because she's still doing the same things that she's always done. She's trying. She's 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 not following any kind of real new nutrition plan. She's just winging it. She's doing everything she's always done. She's probably counting calories again. The thing I think is, is I think she weighed a lot. I think she weighed more than the last time she weighed in. And she was looking real haggard. I mean, she still doesn't look that great. And so now she's just allowing herself time to kind of try to get down to a more to a, a more in her eyes reasonable weight to announce to the Internet. And so this is what she's doing now is she's trying she's in like emergency like maintenance mode. She's trying to like get it back down. And um, that's now why she's like 
she's like teasing the way things because if she was if this was the if she really was talking about how coming in and constantly weighing and stuff like that doesn't matter then she wouldn't be posting side by sides of her on snapchat being like see guys i'm losing weight like you wouldn't be talking about any of that stuff because all of that stuff may, would potentially be a trigger for you so I, I that's what i think i think she weighed a lot more than the last time she weighed in so now she's like in hustle mode like she's like oh shit i really need to start losing weight and i also think now that becky's losing weight it's probably lit a fire in her ass because if there's one thing amber doesn't like it's her partner's succeeding without her um amber a lot of people trash talk your makeup collection and call you a hoarder because this ton of makeup for someone who really wears makeup for amen a while there, I wore makeup amen every single day and i noticed when I she we're talking about a full beat face we're talking about more than mascara and eyeliner you rarely put makeup on nor do you rarely take it off when you go to sleep i do that i break out a lot and i recently have not been wearing makeup at all because i had an allergic reaction um i don't think people should wear you makeup never wear eyeshadow day. i mean if you want to go for it and honestly like then why are you buying so, so much fucking makeup if you plan on not wearing it all the time and they only wear makeup maybe once or twice a week which is fine like you don't have to have a set amount of like days that you have to wear makeup to have a certain amount of makeup that's kind of silly they're not talking about that you 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 even when you wear makeup you don't even really wear makeup like you don't Put foundation. You put foundation on, eyeliner and mascara. That's it. And maybe put a lipstick on. But you went out and bought a bajillion highlighter palettes, a a bajillion eyeshadow palettes. You have a bunch of different lipsticks. It's a lot. Like you should just get a couple of things and like test it out and see if you fucking like it and not be subscribed to four different subscription makeup services. Like that's what people are talking about. You've gone full into this thing. And I think it's because you've been watching a lot of influencers you, because of the whole makeup boom kind of happening, especially with the whole Shane Dawson stuff. Like, I think that you think that it's trendy and you think that it's cute and kitschy and that's why you like it. And so now you're going to go and buy it out because you have to, because you have the means to, and you have to show it off. And you, that's what this is really about. And you don't you you Less don't funny, know what the word excess means. Why thank you. My god, that laundry pile is bigger than Pillow Mountain. It is true that. True that. Go vegan. No, please uh, don't. No, I tried being vegan. It wasn't. Emily, funny. don't. Like I've nothing Stop. against people who are vegan. Like you're super amazing. Like more power to you. But vegan is not for me. Where are the cats? Wasabi is actually sitting right next to me. And Rarity's probably laying on the bed in the guest bedroom. She loves it in there. <laughs> um, 100% correct, or I have a donkey up my... It's a reply. I don't know what you're correct about. <laughs> um, that's a reply to someone. Reply to someone. So you can cut all this out. Reply to someone. Reply to someone. Oh my god, that's a reply to someone too. Holy crap. Okay. Those eggs look so good. They were actually really freaking delicious. And it just sucks how sick they make me. Like, I'm talking... Have you guys ever... Oh, I was about to say, have you guys ever puked? <laughs> Duh. Um, I'm sure everyone has. You know yeah. that feeling right before you're about to? Like, your stomach is just like so... Ugh. Like, there's just no words. Then quit eating eggs, dude. Oh my god, but I'm skipping this. I'm so yeah. overhearing this. And a lot of people always come at me with... You need to look at your dislike to like ratio. Does that say anything to you about your content? And honestly, my answer is no. Because a lot of people don't even watch the content. They just go on it to dislike it. Well, there was only five likes on that comment. There's 5,968 comments. So if we're going to go by this whole thing about how if someone... if The the amount of people that come that go up to your video to like to dislike it is probably very small. Like it just... it I don't think any people are out here like really caring that much. Because there's a lot of people out there that don't like me too. And I don't think a lot of them come onto my videos to dislike it. Like it... Or, there's, or they do and it's a really small number. But it's like, dude, you have th this has been a thing for you for a long time. People have been disliking your shit for years. So let's not like let's not pretend that like you're out here putting out this fire content and like people are just unappreciative of you and they just come out here like girl stop. And that just proves it right there. So because when but when but when you do the right thing, though, right, Amberlynn, when you when you're on track and people are actually rooting for you and people are liking your stuff, then you want to come out here and talk about how nice everyone is and how the like ratio is up and stuff like that. But now when people are over your ass now, oh, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't mean a thing. 
I ignore the dislike to like ratio. Whatever is convenient, Honestly, right? Honestly, it doesn't mean anything to me. Seems like each X is representative of another hundred pounds. Yikes. That's a very good point. I mean, I guess it could be. Oh, I think but I wear. I feel like I've seen him, this sizes, person in my. Uh, um, anywhere from 3X to 6X. In my chat. Like really bad. And one day I hope 6X is like a blanket on me. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I love how in the video before she was talking about how six sex was huge on her, but it's like, I guess now it's tight. Okay. I thought it was a blanket. I think you need an eye test and glasses. You are straining your right eye, maybe reading online, and it's going to te deteriorate if you don't act. 100%. Agree. I'm supposed to be wearing glasses 24 7. I am nearsighted, so I You're am. You're too lazy my to go eyes. to an optometrist, though. I know so. I need to go to an eye doctor. I actually lost my glasses. It was probably like a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. It was longer than that, girl. And then I ended up finding them, and they were scratched, like, horribly, and there was nothing I could do about it. But you're right, though. Unfortunately, it's a sad truth. She can barely do anything. I don't know how she's okay with being able to exercise for only two minutes shaking my head. I agree. Oh, my God. I have so much to update you guys on when it comes to this. I am able to do so many things now. I can walk for so much like, longer. Like put that laundry away? Like that? Things like that? Than two minutes. And I've really been trying to just keep this, you know, off of YouTube because it's so stressful. It's so weird. Like I understand her thinking behind this or whatever. I think in general you should just not be on YouTube for a little bit and like get it under control or whatever. But it's so interesting to me how like... You, I, I think it's weird to be like, well, I don't want to show this or I don't want to show that, but I also want to get props for it. But then I also want to come on Snapchat and like do rants about how I've lost weight and throw up side by side. So like, obviously you're still doing it. You're just not doing it on YouTube. Like I just get picked apart all the time. I get told I'm not losing weight fast enough or I don't walk fast enough or I don't walk long enough. You guys have to realize that especially when it especially when we're talking about my mobility my mobility is going to be very very less than than the normal average person because i was almost 600 pounds at one point my highest weight was 572.4 and i <laughs> but she's not going to come on here and talk about her weight and stuff but here we go <laughs> i couldn't do anything like i literally walked for a minute and 16 seconds back in april and almost died and to see how far I've come. And you fell like a month ago. Um, is unbelievable. Like I cook without sitting down. I do the dishes without sitting down. I think I talked about that in the beginning of this video. Like I am doing so much better. Um, and where you said she could barely do anything. You're right. You're right. A few months ago, I, I couldn't. Like a week ago? What are you talking about? <laughs> like she acts like this is so... Does she not like watch her videos at all? Or is she not? I I want sometimes I wonder if she's even present in her daily life because her perception of what we see and what she shows and what's really happening is so different than like when when she's talking about it. I don't do the things that I'm doing now. It's so weird. It's such a weird. So I'm gonna do I don't one know. more. You said that you have to rest, girl. You already do that twenty four seven. That's all you do is rest. Lol. True. That's not true. Amen. Um, back in the a day, fucking for sure, men. I definitely stayed in my bed a lot, but I no longer do that now. I'm up and doing things and cleaning and <laughs> yeah, like walking to the bathroom, cleaning <laughs> and just trying to be productive. And yeah, I'm just really happy that I'm finally out of like this crazy cycle I was in for the longest time. So, anyways, I'm gonna end this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh boy. I think it's only fitting that we're, we end this in Pillow Mountain. So what did we learn? Why is she not weighing in? Her reasoning behind it makes sense. But at the same time, when you're on Snapchat and Instagram and you're throwing up side by sides and you're like mad at people for not seeing weight loss in you, like then you're obviously talking about it. So either talk about it or don't talk about it. You can't have it both ways, in my opinion. It's, in my opinion, I think she should take a break from YouTube like a couple weeks. Three, I, she should see a doctor, real talk. She needs to get a doctor, but we all know. I mean, we've seen the pictures and stuff online about how she's not paying her hospital bills and stuff. So like maybe everything's not all it's cracked up to be. But yeah, we saw that. Um, I'm glad we didn't get another Torrid Hall or an Ipsy bag thing of, you know, dumb shit that she's not going to use. Thank God. 
Um, this video is already super fucking long. Um, hopefully I added something to it. It's really hard. It's getting really hard to find things to talk about because, you know, it's she just lives a very boring, mon mon uh, monotonous life. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Michael B. Petty. And remember to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, toodles.